Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our sister. Quite a sad story. The message reads like this. Hello brother Nashi, how are you? Can you please post my own story as hidden identity? So I am a married woman and I have my little baby, my daughter. So I have come here on your platform. I am asking for your assistance. So I am addicted. I am not addicted to drugs, but what I do is that I hurt myself, I cut myself, and I want to be free. I do not want to do this anymore. I am tired. If there is anyone that can offer me any assistance, please help me. I have tried to go for therapy, and they told me that I am supposed to go to rehab. And at the same time, I am scared. I do not want my husband to know that these are the things that his wife has been doing because my husband does not even suspect a thing and my parents as well they don't even know that i started this behavior when we came here to south africa so my dad is a retired doctor he used to work at this other government hospital then my mom she was a math teacher at the same private school where i was going to so a lot of parents that have their kids that are going to private schools, I hope that when they listen to this confession, even the owners of the private school, they are going to understand that the way that kids bully each other at private schools, it is very different from the way that kids bully each other in government schools like when your kid is going to a government school, when they get bullied, I think it is easy for you to pick it up because usually at government schools, kids will beat each other up. So you will see that my child has been beaten up. But in private school, like it is really silent bullying that takes place and the kids, they choose to suffer silently. And when kids are staying in the suburbs, like you do not have a lot of friends, so you just suffer in silence. That was what was happening to me. And worst of all the teachers in private schools they have so much pressure because like when a private school gets a higher pass rate this is like good marketing a lot of parents would want their kids to study at that same school but this comes at a price like when you are in a private school and if you are considered to be someone who is a slow learner you are going to suffer because they also want you to achieve a higher pass rate they do not want you to lower the school's pass rate so the teachers they push you to study to study to study that was what was happening to me so the teachers were bullying me without ever realizing that they were actually bullying me as well as my father he was also bullying me but not knowing that the things that he was doing to me it was actually bullying because what he would do is that he would make me to kneel down and he would tell me to pray to chase away this spirit of me like being a slow learner my father would say look back do you have any relative of yours that didn't go to university then i will say no and my father will say then if you do not have any relative that was not brilliant in school from your mother's side and from your father's side then this means that you are not my daughter so i would feel my heart breaking into several pieces the way that my father would make me to pray to chase away this spirit the spirit that was making me to be stupid in school not to have higher grades not being a slow learner so i would pray i would hate myself for being a slow learner because as for my siblings because i'm the eldest in my family my siblings will end up even helping me to do my own homework yet they were at a lower grade than i was when i would try to teach them their homework and then they would actually correct me and i was unable to even teach them and they would laugh at me because they would do their homework alone then i would end up going to my mom or to my dad for so that he can assist me and worst of all at school that was when they came this other man who was also from zim he became our geography teacher this man when he looked at my schoolwork he started to shake his head and he kept on saying that i have never seen someone who is from zim a student from zim that is so dumb in school what is going on look at your mother everyone that she takes through matric they all pass a subject with flying 
changing colors so what is going on with you so this man he thought that he was joking with me but what he didn't understand was that the kids in the same class that i was in they took this joke even further because this teacher when he walked out of the class there was this other girl who got up she then went and she started writing some things on the board and she was like i have never seen a student from zim that is very dumb in school and that is a slow learner so where which from which country do you come from and i started to cry and by the time that another teacher walked into our classroom she had rubbed off everything that she had written on the board and i didn't want the teacher to see me crying so i just wiped off my tears and i started to suffer in silence when i was at, at home i would lock myself in my spare bedroom until one day when i was busy clipping my nails and then i made a mistake then I hurt myself, then the blood started to come out. To my surprise, instead of me crying in pain, the pain was really good. I felt so good. That was when I started to do those things of me cutting myself. And each and every time that I would cut myself, I would enjoy. Instead of feeling the pain, I would start to smile and to laugh. I kept on locking myself in my spare bedroom for many many hours pretending as if i would be studying my parents especially my father he was happy when i would tell him that i am busy studying please do not disturb me yet what i'll be doing was that i will be busy cutting myself and hurting myself not knowing that i was actually getting myself addicted slowly but surely so i started using my mom's kitchen knives and when my mom saw that i was always hurt on my hands and she would ask me what was going on because when I started doing these things I would cut my fingers then my mom asked me what was wrong with me and then I lied to my mom and I said that each and every time when I would be cutting the vegetables then I used to I make a lot of mistakes then I would lie to my mom and I would say that each and every time when I am cutting the vegetables I end up cutting myself my mom then said ha ah, this one I think that she has shaking hands we need to take here to the doctors so i then switched i stopped using the kitchen knives then i went and i bought you know there are those razor blades usually they use these razor blades when they are installing the carpets i had once seen this man that had came to our house to install a carpet then i looked at that sharp razor blade i went and i bought it those razor blades they are too dangerous just a small slice then you end up cutting yourself that is what i was doing now and at that time my parents would not even notice the time when my mom would ask me what has happened to your arm why are you hurting yourself like this then i would switch then i started teaching myself to cut myself in my thighs knowing that no one will ever find out this is what i do even right now my husband doesn't even realize that usually when i have a wound on my body i would have inflicted that wound on myself and i still remember that there was this other day mom and dead were not at home it was me my siblings and our maid we were the ones at home i then went and i locked myself in the bathroom i just wanted to do something quick but unfortunately i wanted more on that day so as i was standing in front of the mirror i then slid myself even deeper and it was too deep i lost so much blood i then collapsed onto the floor lucky enough i had locked the bathroom door and when i got out my siblings and the maid said that they had been standing standing at the bathroom door for almost two hours and I just told them that that is very disrespectful. I went and I locked myself in my spare bedroom. I was scared that they were going to find out that this is what I had done. and. I managed to make sure that my mom and my dad never suspected anything. Even right now, the way that I clean up myself, the way that I dress up those wounds when I would have hurt myself, you won't even suspect that this woman, she actually hurts herself. And I always look for those spots that my husband usually does not touch me. 
that is where i end up hurting myself but i am tired now that i have my baby i keep on asking myself what will happen if it happens that maybe i cut myself then i just collapse and i fall to the ground and faint then my little baby will be sleeping on top of the bed then she tries to roll out of bed what would happen at that time so i am tired i just want someone who can assist me please help me my brother if there is anyone who has ever come across the situation that i am facing i'll be so happy if you can assist me i'll be following through in the comment section then the other thing that happened was that just before my wedding day had arrived we then went to this other place where we were staying me and my team including my mom but when we were there unfortunately i could not bring over my first aid kit including my razor blades so i just thought that i was going to be fine but when i look at my wedding day videos i see that i was shaking a lot i was even unable to sign because of the way that i was shaking i just signed but not the way that i usually sign off whenever my signature is needed because i was craving to hurt myself and when me and my husband went for our honeymoon i then solicited a razor blade and i then went and i pretended as if i wanted to bath and i end up, ended up cutting myself when i got out of the bathroom i lied to my husband that actually i have hurt myself so he did not even realize that this is what i had done but i am tired and worst of all with the advent of tiktok so usually when you go on tiktok if you search like for someone who will be hurting themselves you will never see any search response but us that do these things there is a way that we search for these videos like a very secretive way of us searching these videos so there are people out there on tiktok that i follow that actually teach people who do cut themselves how to cut themselves in a safe way so the problem is that whenever i go on tiktok it keeps on pushing these videos to me and i can't even stop because after watching a video i keep on telling myself that i I need it to, i need to do it one more time please let me do it one more time but after doing it there is another one more time that i have to do it again so i am stuck if there is anyone that can assist me please help me before my husband discovers that this is what i am doing right now even when i do it because of the loss of blood i will feel like i am fainting and at that time when i feel dizzy and as if i am fainting that is the place that i want to be a very dangerous place because you do not have to cut too deep when you cut too deep then you end up fainting so i just play around that sweet spot where i really feel so nice but it is really dangerous if there is anyone that can assist me i will be so grateful hey dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me by our dear sister strange things do happen in this world and the scary part is when she said that when you go on tiktok when you try to search um of people who will be hurting themselves you won't see any response any such result but there are ways that us that are addicted to these things when we search we know that people that are going to appear there are people that teach that teach us how to do these things and i keep on craving this thing of me hurting myself do you know anyone that does these things are you someone who used to do this thing how did you manage to let go of this addiction please help us in the comment section Yo.